be around the room. So speakers, you guys are going to contribute to this as well. So. <laughs> no, I think uh, I didn't expect it to be um, have a lot of impact for me today. Today was a uh, everything you were talking about is things that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. You know, so to me that was uh, very powerful for what you guys all had, what all of you, what all of you were talking about, because not that long ago, and right now I'm going through that process, mm -hmm. and that allows me to understand. You know, even though as I'm saying, there's opportunities opening up, that just the fact that what you are all saying just makes sense. So it, it's just I, I got a lot. And that allowed me to really open up and really think about the impact that I'm doing as with my nonprofit as well. Mm -hmm. Just like Dr. Dorsey mentioned, um, the fact that I'm impacting other people and their family, but then I go to the root of how am I able to do that, and I go back to Dr. Dorsey. And then how Dr. Dorsey brought all of you, and I'm going through some stuff that allows me to be like, oh wow, like, it makes sense. Keep on going. Keep on going. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah for me, I was seeking some answers for myself. Um, but yeah, we just have to learn. I'm a huge uh, travel by learner, you know. Mm -hmm. I like to be the most brainless places of all time and show up and listen and take notes. Mm -hmm. uh, what I took away from today is the humanity from all you guys. Like, none of you guys had egos, none of you guys did anything like that. And it was real beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'll take that away from me and how I represent myself going forward. And I appreciate that. Um, I think I summarized what I felt like the theme was, and I appreciate it, I'm here as a guest of Kevin. Um, and today is my youngest child's birthday. Should we sing my birthday? And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I felt like he needed, he's, I, I do facilitate similar workshops and I, I felt like um, he needed to hear it from somebody else that wasn't his mother. <laughs> and uh, being a black man, you know, saying these things, I felt like it was very important for him. To be present as we celebrate his soul in return. Um, so. And your birthday is tomorrow. And my birthday is tomorrow. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> <laughs> well, birthday boy, we would love to hear what you were able to gather from this morning's workshop. Big yarn. I was listening. I was sorry. I was telling you. I know that you usually are. Even when teenagers look like they're not paying Thank attention, you. they Thank usually are. Exactly. It, it's just hard to formulate everything into words. Is there anything that stood out to you? That uh, not really. Not really. Like it was all. Uh, it, it was all of good information. Like. Well, we appreciate you. Like, uh, I, I feel like uh, this has certainly changed uh, my outlook on certain things. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Um, what I took away from it was because I feel like I um, I wasn't I had no expectation. Mm -hmm. I saw it on Eventbrite and I wanted to come. And then, um, but I, all of you were speaking to me. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a crossroads right now. It's like um, I've been in LA for now maybe about 10 years. And um, <clears throat> the dream was to be a photographer, commercial photographer. And that is a very hard dream when everyone else has it. When you yeah. come out here. <laughs> so, um, so I keep, uh, someone said, I was listening to you and you said, you can't just keep quitting. Because I feel like that's what I keep doing as I, I've become now a dabbler. And um, I go to the nine to five because I know that is, you know, that's secure. I know I'm gonna get a check every two weeks. It's comfortable. Thing. It's comfortable. It's comfortable. Right. right. And so now um, I was laid off at the end of the year, and but then now I just went full force in photography, and it's like slowly starting to happen a little bit. But then I get presented with a job off. So like here I am again, like do I quit? Like now that I've gone all out and got the LLC and the whole thing, or do I go? With the job, so yeah, that's what I'm, that, that's part of not to do uh, realistically. But um, so I felt like everyone was um, speaking to me. I felt like I was supposed to be here today. So thank you all for coming and sharing your stories.
Kevin, you got anything to add? Yeah, I do. I um, I came here to, and I'm going to take away again just some uh, some of the words. Especially, I was riveted by what Dr. Chris was talking about his journey and and all the things that he shared. I, I but I'm here to support um, Dr. Dorsey. Uh, he is absolutely a uh, person that is necessary for all the things that I do. I am trying to be a facilitator of things for the future of our workforce, future of our our, our country. And I believe he has a finger on the pulse of what is needed to try and connect to classrooms as well as adults on what's next, where to go. So I'm glad that I came. Thank you. I know you're here. You're here now. First of all, I like to apologize. I feel like it's disrespectful to show up this late, but I had an incident right before I left. So um, it sounds like something that. I definitely would have benefited from. I, I'm in the insurance industry, um, and I'm an agency owner who um, contracted with American National um, a little less than three years ago. And overnight, through a, I guess, chain of events and them being bought out, um, I lost almost 300000 in annual income. And it's interesting because it was happening at the same time that I made a decision to um, start moving towards a nonprofit because it's been a passion of mine. Um, this morning I had somewhat of another financial hit and I, I found myself somewhat fighting tears all the way here and I thought, no, just keep going, you know, you're gonna be late, keep going. Then I kept getting pushed back more and more in time because of passion. But I'm glad that I, I did come. Um, I met Dr. Dorsey recently um, because we live in the same area and started to talk to him about the nonprofit that I'm starting. And he's been so um, consistent with sending me information that he thinks could help me. And I thought, okay, this is going to be great to be a part of this. But sorry, I missed it. But I'm glad to be in the room nonetheless. And, and I convinced her to still come because she was trying to turn around. I'm like, no, nope, you got to come. <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds like there was a lot said today that um, convinced people or encouraged them to push forward no matter where you are, don't lose sight of your vision, and to push forward. I could have used that, so if it's on tape, I'd like to see it. Yeah. Are you going to skip me? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm going <laughs> He said he wants to come back to me. Oh. No, no, it's your turn. Oh, okay. I'm coming back to you. Oh, okay. Um, the one thing that really stood out to me was when Chris said, uh, when you're living in your calling, you won't need your alarm clock. Mm -hmm. And I need my alarm clock still, so that's a problem. And so that I'm, I need to do some soul searching with respect to that. Um, I've been blessed to be gifted to do a lot of different things. And so I've been a dabbler as well. And so I feel like now it's my time to really focus on doing the things that bring me joy and getting to working in my passion. And I'm excited about that. Yeah. I enjoyed everybody's stories today. And uh, I think what I'm gonna take away from today is that, again, you know, we're, we're, we have way more in common, folks, than we have not. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the haves and the have nots. Mm -hmm. we, have, we still have a lot in common. Mexican Americans, my man from uh, New Zealand, uh, us here in, in, in the states, we're we're all connected. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all going through uh, different things in life. Journeys are tough sometimes, but a lot of times, you know what, your neighbor is, is going through that too. Mm -hmm. So don't stop, don't give up. Keep 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 your faith strong. And uh, uh, it was just interesting hearing like all you guys' stories and connecting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel the same. Um, one, I, this is, um, you know, I would support Dorsey anytime I can. I did an event for you, if you remember, at the high school. Yeah, the Kevin spoke uh, to the young people. Yeah, yeah, so I believe in, in giving back, you know, to to not only to young people, but to adults. I hate when people always think about kids, but I'm like, well, adults are still living. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, need, we need to talk too. But uh, what I'll take from this is one is, um, just 
knowing that we're one, you know, I would never have a great opportunity to talk to Philippe outside of the, you know, mm-hmm. the environment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, I, he's he's let me in now. <laughs> but uh, it was VIP, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> VIP, yeah. But um, no, you know, just hear like I said, hearing everybody's story. But I think more morally for me is to know that I'm still on the right path. Mm-hmm. Because um, you know, I have some a lot of good things that are happening, and I had to struggle to it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you have, when you have a gentleman like this, you know, pops up and says, "Joe, yeah. this, you know, this yeah, touches me," because because yeah. a lot again, we 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 all see each other, well, we don't, but we see each other on the street. You know, and it's it's always either yeah. business or a cigar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just. Yeah. And I think it's good to know, like, you know, okay, I know, I, I know a little bit about him, a little bit more, and why he may be the way that he is. Because mm-hmm. I think one of the things with me in the business and and in life is I'm misconceived. I'm misperceived mm-hmm. because Mis- I have a very right because I have a very strong personality. But at the same time, I'm one of the coolest dudes you meet. But mm-hmm. when you meet me, if you're not on that, if you're not on that same vibe, I, I have like the coldest. I could be the coldest dude you like I could be right here and I don't know you here. Right. So I think sometimes people take that as arrogance and things, but when you hear the stories that everybody's talking about, you know that one, you may need a little bit of it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, unless a person sits down and actually talks to you, they're not gonna know anything about you. Right. You know, and I think one last thing is you said it earlier, man, and I it is so true. You know, we I mean, I think as African Americans, and I'm only saying that because I don't know about the Latino mm-hmm. families, but we hold success sometimes so negatively. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You know, you come away, I did this and I said, so what? You know, it's like, <laughs> who cares? Yeah, but what I found out is because a lot of times you didn't stay on your path, mm-hmm. you know, and that's not my fault. So, but what is my fault is how I communicated with you is still so that you don't feel yeah. belittled as maybe not being successful with what you've done. Mm-hmm. So I think I, I'll take that from this, you know, add it on to me as a person, you know what I mean? And, and, and keep pushing. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let's take a picture. So what's up again? We're going to stand over here. And, uh, yeah, like right in front of that uh, screen.